Hi guys, welcome back to Candle of the Week with Michael. This is episode 14 and today we're gonna have a very special candle. Today I'm gonna be making the Lucky Candle, guys, and it's inspired by the newest fragrance oil from 1617, Lucky Albatross. Yes, guys, I just finished making, uh, doing a review on this on my live stream and I decided to make a candle, the Candle of the Week today. So when it comes time for the premiere, I'll be able to tell you about the HT, you know, results and for this beautiful candle, I'm gonna be using this passion print, guys. This is the Safari candle glass from the passion print collection. Let me read you a little bit of information about this. Again, this is available at 1617. A modern adventure with a dash of danger makes our hand-blown Safari the glass of the moment. Grab your fog, uh, your fog fur, it's time to paint the town. Yes, look how beautiful it is. Each jar is designed by the 1617 creative team and it's handmade, reusable and recyclable. Because passion prints are not painted, they can be reused as drinking glasses or barware. Our stunning passion print handmade glass is truly unique. No two pieces are identical and each jar is truly one of a kind. Color is deposited into the glass rather than painted. Yes, it's inside the glass guys adding wax to this jar creates a beautiful white background allowing the pattern of colors to pop this glass is thick and strong a candle maker's dream yes please note that the specs are approximate this jar is handmade and weight and dimensions will vary okay exterior diameter is four inches interior diameter is 3.6 to 5 inches the height is four inches uh, it recommended fill is 15 ounces, okay? Empty weight of this is 16 ounces. Okay, and then it says they, rec uh, they recommend to wick this with the uh, wick kit four inch cylinder. Okay. Okay, and they recommend uh, using our container waxes, meaning number seven and number three, at 10% fragrance low. We like double size CDN number four with most fragrance oils. Okay, uh, due to past experiences, guys, I'm gonna try but this time, I'm gonna be doing this uh, double CDN number three and see how that works out. Okay, in the past, guys, when I used the passion prints on my candles of the week, I noticed that uh, using the, uh, the double CDN number four on this, uh, in, on the oil, it all depends on the oil that you use, guys. So I'm gonna try wicking down this time, okay? So let's see how that works, okay? Yes! It's, <sighs> I'm so in love with this, guys. It's so beautiful. Again, this is so different. It tells a story by itself. Let's see. Lucky Albatross is a traditionally masculine fragrance that revokes a New England country club vibe with a nod of the Mal Madison Avenue era. Uh, the name Lucky Albatross refers to the most elusive of golf courses achieved by only the best and luckiest golfers. Oh my god. Opening notes of rosewood, lemon, and tobacco blend with mid notes of neroli and nutmeg. Base notes of cedarwood and cardamom round and anchor this force of blend. Okay, this is very masculine, guys. Very, it's full of energy, beautiful, perfect for spring. I think this is like, a, like an all year round, guys. It just gives you such a good vibe. It makes you feel lucky, you know? Uh, that's why I named the candle Lucky. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna start making the candle. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get everything ready, guys, and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay, guys, we are back. Let me just lower the seat a little bit. Okay, that's better, so you can see me on frame. So I have my water there. I have my vessel in here. I have my calculator in here, guys. We're gonna work on the numbers first because I decided to use 8% fragrance low instead of 10. So I'm gonna make the numbers with you so everything is everything makes sense, okay, guys? So I wanna make, uh, I know 1617 recommends to use 15% uh, of, of total fill for the candle, but I wanna do 16 because that's what I've done before on my passion prints. So I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna do it my way, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I figure out 8% fragrance load, okay. So let's do this, okay. I'm gonna have my calculator in here. So it's, we put 16 times 0 0.08 equals 1.28, okay. That's gonna be 8% of 16 ounces, okay. So 1.28, okay. So I'm gonna put in there 1.28 ounces of fragrance, fragrance oil for 8%, okay, then I clear this and then I do 16 minus 1.28 equals 14.72. That's the amount of wax that we need, okay? 
So we need 14.72. Okay, for a total fill of 16 ounces, okay? Yes, you see how it is it is, guys? So now that we have the numbers, we can continue, okay? That's the most important thing. You have to be accurate when it comes to that, okay? Uh, according to the percentage that you want. I know that I wanna try a lower percentage, guys, because I think Sometimes less is more, you know, when it comes to this kind of fragrance oils, and I just want to try, okay? Okay, so I'm going to use, first of all, I'm going to clean my vessel. I'm going to clean, clean my beautiful vessel, my safari print with alcohol. And I like to use microfiber rag so it doesn't leave any dint. Make sure that everything is clean because you don't know what's come from the manufacturing, uh, have any kind of residue, or any dust or anything, you know? Also for, san for sanitary reasons, it's good to uh, clean it with alcohol. Now, because I started using gloves before, I'm gonna put on gloves to be sanitary. You know, I just want you guys to get used to this, you know, to any time that you're gonna be working on candles. It's a good habit to have. First, you don't leave any fingerprints on the glass, and second of all, it's sanitary, you know? So I'm telling you guys, I was so blown away when I did the, the review of this oil, guys. It's amazing. It's truly, truly, I don't know what. Well, you know, 16, 17, they always put out the best of the best, okay? So here we go. Let me just clean, make sure that there's no fingerprints. And guys, this, ca this glass is so thick, you know? And um, once you put in the, uh, the wax inside, guys, it's gonna look, it's gonna come to life because let me just, let me just take this piece of paper and roll it and let me just put it inside. So you can get an idea, you know, of the pattern. You see how beautiful it is, guys? Look at this, it comes alive. It looks like an animal waiting for, for roar. Yes, okay. Now I'm gonna be using four inch wick placer and I'm gonna get my double CDN number three, guys. Did a little bit of org organizing yesterday, guys. And Okay, so having all my CDN, all these CDN wigs, guys. Hundreds and hundreds. And I'm gonna try CDN number three, guys. Let's see how it works out. I saw a live from Instagram uh, with Vanessa at 1617, and she recommended to wig down using this oil. So you know what? I'm gonna use her, her recommendations and see how it works out. As you know, guys, uh, whenever we make a new candle, it's all about the testing, you know? You, what works in one candle may not work in the other one, so you have to, you know, just remember that, you know, like, what works for me may not work for you. So it's all about the testing. Candle making is all about the testing. It's not about cutting corners, it's just about getting it right to make sure you have a, a safe and, and efficient candle, you know. Perfection, okay, so let's put the first one. And the second one, and guys, these, these stickers are amazing. I highly recommend them to anyone. You know, I used to get the one from Amazon. Look how beautiful that is, perfection. I used to get the stickers from Amazon, guys. First of all, the, uh, the, the glue, they don't stay, you know, they, a, lot, a few of them came apart on me, you know, and during my testing phase, so I'm glad. And this, you take the, this wick holder in here, and this is what's gonna keep them in place. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to match, okay, the, the position where they are with the wick uh, tabs on the bottom. So once you secure them, they're not going anywhere. This is perfection, look at that. Yes! Okay, so let me just put this to the side over there. And now, and guys, I just wanna show you these guys. I mean, I know it's the same pro process all over, all over again, but for a lot of you that are watching me for the first time, you know, I just wanna you know, show you, okay? Okay, so remember, we're gonna be needing 1.28 ounces of fragrance oil. Okay, this is, that's the number that we need to follow. We get a pipette. Okay, 1.28. And remember, this is 8% fragrance load. And also in, invest in uh, on beakers, you know, on glass beakers like that. Uh, they're made for, to hold chemicals. You know, I don't really recommend people using paper cups, or stuff like that for measuring fragrance oils because they can just uh, be corrosive and they could just take, you know, they could just take the uh, either of the plastic that's coating uh, the disposable uh, cup. And that's not a good idea, guys, okay? Again, I'm gonna be using the microwave, so I'm gonna be using my Parx container here. And I'm gonna need 14.72, okay. Okay, 14.7, okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this for six minutes in the microwave. It's so easy. I love working with the microwave oven instead of having double boilers or instead of having anything else. 
you know, I think it's easy. It's, it's less clean up to do, you know, it's, it's wonderful. So you just gotta clean as you go, okay? That's very important. So excited, I'm so excited with the lucky candle. It is so heavenly. It's very exotic, very like, it's not exotic, it's just like so welcoming, guys. You know, it's like when you walk to a nice, in a nice hotel, or if you walk to a nice, um, I don't know, um, not a restaurant, but if you go to a nice event, or a nice, let's say, even a store, whatever it is, very high-end store, you know, and you just go in there and say, oh my God, what is that? What is that smell? It's so beautiful, it's so rich, it's so welcoming, it's so <sighs> luscious. <sighs> this is what the vibe that gives you, okay? Yes! Okay, I, you know what, guys? They should, they should um, pump that scent on, on the casinos because it makes you feel lucky. <sighs> yeah, okay, so let's wait for the wax to melt and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay, guys, let me see how hot this is after six minutes. Okay, 219 is perfect. Okay, so let me get a spatula here. Stir because I want it to go down to 210 before I add the oil. I don't want it too hot. I want it between two, um, 220 to 15. Okay, you see, guys, it went down over 10 degrees. I need to put it back on the microwave. It went down to 204, so that too cold. You see what happens when you add something? So I'm gonna put it back for 30 seconds. You see guys, adding something like this, it goes, it drops it down so much. I want it to be at least 210, you know why guys? Because when I add the, the fragrance oil, and that is a lot of oil, that's over an ounce of oil. Uh, you know, it, it cools down even more. I wanna make sure that it's around, around 200, 202, even 198. I just wanna make sure that everything gets really like, uh, I just wanna make sure that everything gets mixed, you know, really well. Okay, 213, perfect, I'm gonna put the oil. And I'm gonna mix for 20 seconds. And after I mix, I'm gonna let it rest until it goes down between 180 and 185. That's the perfect temperature for me to pour into the candle without having to worry about the uh, without having to worry about the wick uh, the wick stickers coming up. Okay, from the bottom of the vessel. It's really, truly, really, truly really magical, guys. Oh my God! Yes. Okay, it's 192. Like I told you before, guys, I'm gonna push away the paper towel. So I'm gonna let the stainless steel table absorb the heat and this is gonna go down really fast because I, the table gets really warm, right? it, it just takes all the heat out. Okay, it's 186, one more degree, but I wanna, I like to take it between 180 and 185, okay? So I'm not gonna, see, let's see. 180, time to pour, yes! Come on, beautiful. Come on, lucky, come to life. Lucky albatross! Wow! I think I think 15 ounces would be better, but if you have a lid, okay? I think for me 16 ounces right now, I think it's perfect, but if you have a lid to put on this vessel, I think 15, 15 ounces is uh, it's the number, okay? I'm gonna clean up, guys, and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay, guys, so welcome back to the end of the video, guys. So I just wanna show you the beautiful candle, guys. The lucky candle, yes! Look at how beautiful it looks. Look at the beautiful background, the white wax uh, gives it. It gives, you can see all the print, the animal print, guys. This is the Safari vessel from the Passion Print Collection at 1617, okay, guys? So uh, let's do a quick recap, okay, guys, on what we did to accomplish this candle. So I'm using number seven wax, and I'm using a double CDN number three for this vessel, guys. And it's a total fill of 16 ounces, okay? And I'm using the beautiful, New oil from 1617, Lucky Albatross, yes, the perfect combination. So guys, today is Sunday, today is the day after, uh, today is the, um, I'm filming this right after the live stream, guys. Why? Because I wanted to be, uh, to be able to give you like uh, an idea of uh, the HD of this, of this oil. For this candle, guys, I decided to use 8% fragrance load. Oh my God. The CT, it's amazing. I think 8% would be plenty, for me, uh, to, I think a percent fragrance love will be plenty, but we'll see, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanted to make the candle today, guys. So on Tuesday, Tuesday January 24th, guys, I'm gonna be premiering this video, guys. As the premiere goes on, I'm gonna tell you how I feel about the HD and how strong it is. Uh, do I think I need a little bit more um, oomph from the oil? Uh, by making it into, into a 10% fragrance load. We'll see, okay guys, so stay tuned. Don't forget to uh, come and watch the premiere on Tuesday, January 24th at eight o'clock in the morning, guys, uh, Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay, guys? Okay, oh my God, I'm gonna be so happy with this. I, I'm telling you guys, 
this of fragrance oil is really blew me away like each and every fragrance oil that 1617 releases guys it's a dream come true okay guys so anyway so i hope to see you on tuesday guys don't forget to um like the video guys share my content with all your friends and family guys subscribe to the channel and don't forget to uh, check out my website guys candleromas.shop so you can shop all my candles in there okay guys and like i said on the, on the live stream i'm planning to relaunch my candles all my candles are going to be now also on eight ounce uh vessel okay guys so uh keep on the lookout for that so i'll see you on tuesday morning in the premiere yes yes